Welcome to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Trading Card Game. My name is Maximilian Pegasus, and I am your host for this speed dueling tutorial. This video is going to teach you how to speed duel. Once you've mastered the basic rules, you can jump right in and play with your friends. To speed duel, you'll need a deck that contains 20 to 30 cards, a skill card, and of course an opponent. Each player, or duelist as I prefer to call them, controls a field. Play your cards into the zones on your field. The first zone is the deck zone. Place your shuffled deck here. Next are the monster zones. Your monster cards will be placed here. These are the spell and trap card zones. Spell and trap cards will be played here. There are also a few additional zones. These include the field spell zone, the graveyard, and the extra deck zone. Only a special type of spell, called a field spell card, can be played into the field spell zone. Field spell cards can have a lasting impact on a duel. The graveyard, also known as the GY, is where destroyed monsters and used spell and trap cards go. The extra deck zone is where advanced duelists may begin a duel with certain types of monster cards. Now that you understand the layout of the field, it's time to duel! Decks are placed into the deck zones, and skills can be placed next to the decks. Each player begins the duel with 4,000 life points. You win the duel by reducing the opponent's life points to zero. Each player starts by drawing four cards. Don't show your cards to your opponent until you play them. You don't want your opponent to get a premature glimpse of your cunning strategies. If you go first, you don't draw a card at the start of that first turn. Monster cards are the cards you battle with. They have attack and defense values, which tell you how strong they are. Some of them also have effects, as indicated in the monster's text box. Effects are powers that affect a duel. Monsters can be summoned in face-up attack position, which is called a normal summon, or set in face-down defense position, which is called a set. In this duel, Yugi will set the stern mystic in face-down defense position. You can only normal summon or set once per turn, so Yugi Boy will be unable to play the rogue doll this turn. Next up, Yugi will set a trap card to one of his spell and trap card zones. Unlike with monsters, you can set or play spell and trap cards any number of times per turn, as long as you have spell or trap card zones available. We'll talk more about trap cards later. Yugi will end his turn. Duels are played in turns which are made up of phases. Each player will go through these phases back and forth until one of them wins the duel. Next up, it's Kaiba's turn. Kaiba's turn begins in his draw phase, in which he draws a new card from his deck. After the draw phase, it's the standby phase. Some cards have effects that will activate here. Next, we move into the main phase. This is usually where you will play cards. As you might expect from Kaiba Boy, he has the powerful Blue Eyes White Dragon in his hand. To see if you can normal summon or set a monster, you need to check its level. A monster's level is equal to the number of stars on it. Monsters that have four stars or less can be played at no cost. However, more powerful monsters require tributes to summon them. The number of tributes required depends on the level of the monster. Monsters with seven stars or more require two tributes from the field in order for them to be normal summoned or set. Since you can only normal summon or set a monster once per turn, Kaiba will normal summon Battle Ox in attack position and set a trap card face down. Now we move into Kaiba's battle phase. Each monster in attack position can declare an attack once during each of your battle phases. To do this, just announce your monster and its attack target. When battling, we use the values of the monsters based on their battle position. As Battle Ox is in attack position, we'll use its attack value, which is 1700 attack points. When it attacks the face down monster, we flip the monster up to compare values. Since the stern mystic is in defense position, we use its defense value, which is 1200 defense points. 
Since Battle Ox has more attack points than the defense points of the Stern Mystic, it will destroy the Stern Mystic in battle. Remember, the Stern Mystic also has an effect. This activates when it's flipped face up, as noted by the word flip in its text box. This effect reveals all face down cards on the field to both players, then puts them back where they were. Count on Yugi Boy to use a card effect that'll give him insight into Kaiba's strategy. Since the stern mystic was destroyed, it goes to the graveyard. Fortunately for Yugi, since the stern mystic was in defense position, Yugi won't lose any life points in the battle. With that, Kaiba ends his turn. Yugi starts his turn by drawing a card. Thanks to my Millennium Eye, I can see into his hand. And I see that he has no monster that can defeat the powerful Battle Ox on its own. Yugi first normal summons Rogue Doll in attack position. Next, Yugi activates the spell card Wonder Wand. To do this, he plays it onto an open spell and trap card zone on his side of the field. Wonder Wand is an equip spell that can only be played onto a spellcaster monster. We can see that Rogue Doll is a spellcaster monster by looking at its text box. Wonder Wand increases Rogue Doll's attack points by 500. During the battle phase, Rogue Doll declares an attack on Battle Ox. At this time, Yugi activates his trap card, Magician's Circle. Trap cards are different from spell cards. They must be set to the field and cannot be used until the turn after they're set. Magician's Circle has an effect that can only be used when a spellcaster monster attacks. Once that happens, it lets each player special summon one spellcaster monster from their deck in attack position. Yugi summons Dark Magician Girl. Kaiba chooses to summon Lord of D. Once the effect of Magician's Circle is used, it is sent to the graveyard. Yugi's battle phase will continue, and Rogue Doll attacks Battle Ox. The difference in their attack values is 400. Since both monsters are in attack position, Battle Ox is destroyed, and the 400 attack point difference is deducted from Kaiba's life points. Battle Ox is sent to the graveyard, and Yugi presses his advantage by attacking Lord of D with Dark Magician Girl. This time, Kaiba uses a trap of his own, the Interdimensional Matter Transporter. Unlike spell cards, trap cards can also be played during your opponent's turn. Interdimensional Matter Transporter temporarily takes a monster you control and banishes it. To do this, Kaiba takes Lord of D and places it outside of the field and away from all of the zones. The used up Interdimensional Matter Transporter is sent to the graveyard. Dark Magician Girl's attack continues. Since Kaiba no longer controls any monsters, Dark Magician Girl can perform something called a direct attack. When this happens, the full attack value of the attacking monster is deducted from the opponent's life points. 2,000 more points of damage are inflicted to Kaiba's life points. With this attack, Yugi ends his turn. The effect of Interdimensional Matter Transporter ends, and Lord of D returns to the field. Kaiba draws a new card. It's time for Kaiba to play a combo of his own. He activates the Flute of Summoning Dragon from his hand by playing it onto the field. This spell card lets Kaiba special summon two dragon monsters from his hand. There is no limit to the number of special summons you can perform in a turn. Also, when an effect lets you special summon monsters, you don't need to tribute any monsters to bring higher level monsters onto the field. Now Kaiba activates his skill card. Once you meet the requirements, you can activate your skills. Beatdown can be used to increase the attack value of Kaiba's monsters by 300 for each high level monster in play. During the battle phase, Blue Eyes White Dragon attacks Rogue Doll destroying it and dealing 1,200 points of damage to Yugi's life points. When a monster with an equip card is destroyed, the equip card goes to the graveyard along with the monster. Next up, Spirit Ryu attacks Dark Magician Girl and uses its effect by sending a dragon monster from Kaiba's hand to his graveyard, increasing its attack points by 1,000. This destroys Dark Magician Girl 
and inflicts 300 points of damage to Yugi's life points. Lastly, Lord of D attacks directly, inflicting 1500 more points of damage to Yugi, dropping his life points to just 1000. Kaiba ends his turn. With his back against the wall, Yugi must believe in the heart of the cards if he hopes to turn this duel around. This concludes our tutorial for speed dueling. You can find out more information on subjects like advanced rules and strategy on our website and social channels. It's time to duel!